Good. I'd like to recognize our evangelists tonight from the Boomerang Church all the way in North Carolina. Yeah. Brother Evangelist Jimmy Lee. Oh, and he is accompanied by a great woman of God. Yeah. The person of May Gibson. To, to know her is to love her. And from the moment you meet her, you have to love her. And you can feel the presence of Almighty God Amen. flowing through her. Amen. I know for sure Amen. that she is a true servant of the Most High God. Amen. Amen. And I pray God blessing on the both of you tonight. Amen. Yes. I pray that the word that might come forth tonight might stir our hearts yes. and cause us to think more, to draw us closer yes. to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We have come into this house tonight for no other purpose than to lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Because he is indeed Amen. worthy of all Amen. our praises. Amen. He said he'll share his glory with no man. Amen. So all belong to him. Amen. I want you to take your Bibles now and turn with me to the 46th division of the Psalm 46. When you find it, say, Amen. Amen. Psalms 46. Amen. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Aren't we in trouble today? Amen. Therefore will not we fear. Though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, mm -hmm. though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, mm -hmm. there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad Amen. the city of God, yes. the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. <coughs> God is in the midst yes. of us. Yes. She shall not be moved. Amen. God shall help her. And that right early. Amen. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. God shall help her. And that right early. Amen. The heathens raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. Yes. The earth melted. <coughs> the Lord of hosts is with us. Yeah. The God of Jacob our is refuge. our refuge. Amen. Come. Behold the works of the Lord, what desolations he had made <coughs> in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. This is the verse that I love. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Yeah. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Is our refuge. This is the word of the Lord, and we know the word of the Lord is already blessed. Amen. So if we have God with us, what have we to fear? Amen. All we have to do is what? Keep the faith and trust in him. Amen. Right now I'm going to invite our own pastor and the person of Reverend Philip and Bethel to come and welcome us now. Amen. Amen. Say, say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's good to praise him. What do you say? Amen. Amen. Hey, if you don't praise him, what's going to happen? Rocks to praise him. Oh, praise the Lord. I mean, we can let no rocks cry out, what you say. Amen. Yeah, the Lord is our refuge, a very present help. Let's say in all situations. Yes. In all situations. All situations. Yes. Because we do have our situations yes. from time to time. Yes. Amen? Yes. I always say to people when we ask about situations, who have situations, I tell them I put a vote on my hands. <laughs> Amen. You have on every slide sometime past the deal. Yeah. But it's good Amen. to be here tonight. What do you say? Amen. Amen. Come to meet with the Lord's people to sing his praises. Yes. Yes. And to hear what thus saith the Lord. We thank God for all of you. And we'll, um. Pastor Deal and his dear wife, Sister Frida, so happy to have you. Yes. Amen. You were represented Amen. last night as well. Yes. Thank God for your fellowship. 
Amen. And for the Christian bond which we enjoy from time to time. Amen. 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 And of course, we have um, dear Sister Thompson um, from the Full Gospel House of God. Thank God for you, Sister Thompson, faithful, loving lady. Amen. You know, from she, before she was married, up in Grand Key. Mm -hmm. You remember those days? I used to come up to Walker's Key. Mm -hmm. And we thank God for you. She moved into Palmetto Point, and she's been a good Christian example. They Amen. praise the Lord, Church. Praise the Lord. Lord. And of course, Sister Macy, we thank God for you. Amen. Young woman who is seeking to serve the Lord, and it's a blessing in her church at the assemblies. Of God. Amen. So um, uh, we just want to welcome you all. The rest of us are very much at home and uh, we've been having a great time in the Lord. Amen. Evangelist Brother Lee has blessed our hearts because he's been um, presenting the Word of God. Amen. The Word of God, which is so precious. Yes. You know, in the days of Samuel, they said the Word of God was precious. But in our day now, we still say the Word of God is what? Precious. It's not only precious, the Word of God is powerful. Amen. 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 So um, we just thank God for the Word. And of course, with Him is our dear saintly sister, our sister Gibson. And the moment I met her, my spirit just jailed right in. I tell her she has any Lutheran name. You could, you could claim this island, you know. Some of the Gibsons are some of the most popular people in this country. In fact, it was a Gibson who wrote our national anthem. And his focus was to lift up your heads till the road we trod yes. leads where? Unto our God. Amen. Yes. Praise on. What a march. To march on to glory land. Amen? Amen. 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 So we welcome you all tonight. And um, I, I, I know um, um, you prayed for us, but we want you to come and bring greetings. You always bless my heart because, you know, you always quote the word. Amen. Uh, past the deal. Mm -hmm. We want you to come and bring greetings and after which... Um, Sister Thompson is here from the Church of um, Full Gospel House of God. The guys come to say hello. And Sister Macy, I know you like to sing. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you to give us a sing tonight. <laughs> Amen. Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. So uh, we just bless the Lord for being here. And you know, the song we sang before, Pastor Deal Praise, is Come Holy Spirit, I need you. Yes. Come sweet spirit, I pray. Come in your strength and your power. power. Mm -hmm. And I believe he's coming in a special oh, way tonight. God. Let's just pray for the man of God that as Thank he ministers, God. that he would not only be blessed, but as he share with us, Hallelujah. oh God yes. himself would be glorified. Amen. Yes. Yes. As we seek to, to lift him up. Yes. Because he said, if you lift me up, I'm, I'm, I'm going to draw you just a little bit closer. Yes. Amen. 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 So, um, Pastor, do you come and Say hello, I know the Lord has blessed you today and you can bless us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Amen. You know, it's a joy for me to be here. Yes. Amen. And I just love sharing. Yeah. When we can share the word with each other, we enlighten one another. You know, we had a saying long time ago, iron sharpens iron. Mm. I believe that is still a saying today. Yes. Yes. And if we can hear from each other and we can help to lift up each other, Amen. I believe this is what the bond of Christianity Amen. is all about. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to do what we have to do. Yes. We need to lift up each other because yes. I want you to know that Satan is on a rampage. Oh, yeah. That's correct. That's correct. Yes. Satan has really accelerated mm -hmm. his efforts yes. because he knows time is short. Yes. But we have to be equal to the task. Yes. Amen. You know where our strength comes from. Yes. We have to, you know, every day, Hallelujah. every day right, go before right. our maker, yes. go before our Lord and ask for strength. Yes. Yes. Tonight, you know, it's so good for me to be here with you are wonderful people. Amen. And I've been greetings from the uh, Salvation Army Amen. on behalf of my wife and I. Yes. And may God's richest blessing be upon you. And let us hope and trust yes. that at the conclusion of these meetings, yes. souls will be one Amen. for God's Amen. kingdom. Amen. That is the whole 
idea. That is what our mission is all about, Amen. to win souls. Yes. We're not trying to see how many church members we can get. No. no. But we are interested so, in the soul. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to win souls for Christ. Amen. May God bless Amen. you. It's my prayer. Amen. 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 Muhammad died, Buddha died, but he didn't come forward yet. But when Jesus came forth, uh, there were some brethren there and sisters like you and me sometimes, we doubt. He said, come here, Thomas. Okay. Amen. They behold the moon. Yes. Behold the spear he pierced the sign. Yes. The spirit hath not flesh and blood. Amen. They come and handle me. Yeah. Yes. He said, no. Jesus well, died, right. and he lives yes. tonight. Yes. I think he lives tonight. Yes, he lives tonight. You know, we are his ministers. Yes, thank you. I want to preach out. He's just coming on in a minute. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember some years ago when we didn't have electricity in our community. Yes. And um, everybody said, when you put in the street lights, I want one in front of my house or in that corner down there. Uh, we needed some lights. But I'm reflecting tonight because when we have this fellowship and folk come from the various fellowship centers, the various churches we call them, uh -huh. and we can just spot them. Mm -hmm. You know, you are the light. Yes. Not just of the little corner where you live. Mm -hmm. You are the light of the world. Amen. So we thank God for these lights. They may go out before the service is over, yeah. but we pray God they don't, but it happens mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah. But we thank God for the light. Yeah. That he's placed with us. You are the light of the world. And I expressed and how wonderful is our God. Here's our brother from North Carolina, our sister from Oklahoma. And here we are in the finest little line of the kingdom world. He says, Let your light so shine. Amen? Amen? Let your light so shine. So we thank God for the testimony that you bear, brothers and sisters in Christ. Be encouraged in the Lord. No labor in the Lord will be in vain. Now it's a joy again, I say to have these labors of Christ mm -hmm. with us. And this there brother really, um, we've fallen in love with him. He was with us last year. He's back again this year. Mm -hmm. And we're enjoying this rich fellowship. Yes. The Christian fellowship. Mm -hmm. The greatest fellowship on earth. Mm -hmm. And our dear sister, um, uh, we just thank God for you for coming our way. Amen. And you know, she, she sings so well. You can feel the Spirit of God yes. exuding yes. from uh, this fellowship. So we bless God for you. We're all thankful to be here tonight. And my heart has been blessed. Amen. And hearts have been challenged. Yes. The saints have been encouraged. Are you yes. being encouraged, saints? Yes. Yes. I'll say glory to God. Glory, glory, to God. God. glory to God in the highest. Yes. We always think about the angels. But I can let no angels yeah. beat me praising my God. Ah, I know yeah. even the highest praise. Yeah. 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 Amen. Come on, somebody show praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, God has been good to you today. Let's show praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, we came in this house to worship God. Let's show yeah. praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's praise Him another time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Has God been good to anyone in the house? Yeah. Amen. 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 Look at your neighbor, tell us that we got a right to praise Him. We got a right to praise Him. Amen. Has God been good to you? Got a right to praise Him. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Let's forget about the person next to you. Amen. Just let's focus on the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's focus on giving Him glory. Amen. Name of the Lord is.
God, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are given what is due to Him. Amen. And all that we pray is due to our Lord. I don't even believe that. Amen. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. Yes, not like him. Amen. Amen. I can search this whole world through until I can find. There is truth. Yes, not like him. I'm going to leave that tonight. Amen. Amen. All this look at your neighbor and tell him, I brought my praise to you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You brought your praise with you tonight? Yes. Go ahead. Ask him a question. Say, Did you brought your praise with you tonight? Praise your praise. Praise Amen. 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 Gotta bring the praise. Amen. Gotta bring the praise with you. Amen. 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 Right. Amen.
Injected in the mission field, I heard that song right there in Suriname. <laughs> it's actually very popular in that country. Yes. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. I just I just praise the Lord. Thank you. I just he just Thank you for the Yes, Lord. Thank you for the Something happened in that atmosphere last yes. night in this place. There, there was a, it was like a whole shift. Hallelujah. Something just happened. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. It's funny, one of the very first things I heard when I walked into this sanctuary this evening was walking with God. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's exactly what my message is titled tonight. Amen. 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 God. Somebody was listening today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praying and interceding as I was. We were kind of both hearing on the same line. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yes. yes How many of us know that we belong to His family? Amen. 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 We are His adopted children. Yes, yep. thank you. Hallelujah. John 3.3 3 says, Jesus answered. Uh oh, we better listen when He talks. Yes, yes. sure. Jesus answered and said to him, said to Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except one be born anew, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Yeah. Got to be born again. And when God is saying born again, he means transformed. Yes. Transformed mind, Amen. transformed spirit, yes. transformed even in the physical yes. body. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Yes. If we're not willing to change, then it won't happen. Mm, that's right. If we're not willing to let Him come in yes. and cut out all the bad stuff and reinsert all the good stuff, then it can't happen. And in that, we will belong to His family. Amen. Hallelujah. And once we realize that we belong to His family, then we have to go forth and we've got to learn the ropes. Yeah. When a new sailor comes on a ship, the first thing they teach them is they got to learn the ropes. Yes. Got to keep my commandments. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. In Titus 2 and 12, instructing us to the extent that denying ungodliness and the worldly lusts, we should live soberly mm -hmm. and righteously yes. and godly yes. in this present world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Live soberly. Be aware. Yes. Be aware Amen. of what you're doing. Yes. Be aware of what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Be aware of what you're saying. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Standing in righteousness. Mm -hmm. In whose righteousness? God. His righteousness. Amen. That's a huge mistake that a lot of people make. They think, well, I know it all. Yeah. I know it all. all right. I don't need anybody to tell me which way to go or what to do. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I know I would get nowhere doing an attitude That's like right. that. Amen. 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 It's called submission, and it's a very, very valuable lesson for everyone in a whole church to learn. Yes, because one cannot lead unless they can learn to follow another. 
Amen. Amen. That's right now. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. I have seen many, many, many cases. Many cases I've seen where ministers, I mean, actually very experienced ministers, they, they fall and their, their church is destroyed mm. because they can't learn to follow orders. And they can't learn to follow godly order. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And then the, the next point is we must humble ourselves. Yes. We must walk in humility. Yes. In James 4, 6, it said, But he giveth more grace. Wherefore, the scripture says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Amen. God has no use for a prideful, stuck up. That's what we call it. Yes. Like stuck up. Yes. Or stuck yes. up ourselves. Yes. <laughs> yes. Which is another know-it-all, don't-care attitude. Amen. They just go on doing whatever they uh -huh. want to, and they don't consider anyone else's feelings or space or anything. Amen. And then the worst thing about it, they don't consider God's mm -hmm. order and God's space. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Oh gosh, there's a biggie, and we've been talking about this, and this is the right season to talk about this. Love one another. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 A new commandment I give you, <coughs> that you love one another, yes. even as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if you love one another. Amen. That's John 13, 34, and 35. Praise the Lord. If we're going to exemplify Christ, we have got to love one another. Yes. If, we're going to, if, if we're going to make God happy, we've got to love one another. Amen. You That's cannot right. be saved, you cannot know God and not love. Right. It won't work. Amen. Some people think it works, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. Amen. Oh my. Amen. Help us tonight. God's been shaping our character all this yes, week. Thank you. Thank you. And then some people just, they're so tight-fisted, they don't know how to give generously. Amen. And remember, we're not only talking money. Whenever right. I talk about giving, I always stress that. Amen. I mean, money's part of it, yes. but we don't only just talk about money. Amen. We talk about having compassion for people, yes. for having feelings, having yes. consideration for yes. others where it's due. Hallelujah. Yes. In 2 Corinthians 9, 6, and 7, it says, But this is but this is he that sow sparingly shall reap sparingly, he that sow bountifully shall reap bountifully. Let each man do as he is purposed, purposed in his heart, not out of grudge or necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's a sweet verse to me yes. Amen. because um, I remember from way back uh, when I first worked one of my first jobs, there was a stick of wood up on a wall that had that, that last little bit there scribbled on it. Mm -hmm. And nobody ever knew who did it, but it, it, what it was, it was in a wood shop and it was a pattern that we draw out of a, a certain shape on with. And... Uh, Somebody had scribbled that for God loves a cheerful giver across the across the edge of that piece of wood. <laughs> and for years I'd walk past that thing and I'd see that. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So somebody wanted to make us a reminder and, and left that there. And and the, the author, I mean the author was God, but the one who wrote the thing on the piece of wood, I, we never did figure out who did it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise God. So that tells you that the Word of God really stands. Yes. yes. <laughs> Even though we didn't know who wrote it there, it still, it still affected me every time I walked past there and yes. saw that thing. Yes. <laughs> so praise God. So we have to understand, every time that we do a kind act, every time that we uh, you know, help somebody out doing something, you know, it, sometimes it can just be just a, a kind few words in the right place. Yes. But we just have to be sharp in our spirit and our mind to, to be able to catch these things. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Now, I'll admit, sometimes I've had problems in the past actually seeing some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, a, a lot of times a spouse will catch it before a, the other one does. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and here comes this, this elbow in the side. Yeah. Of, hey, didn't you catch that? <laughs> and um, I'll have to admit, uh, it, it's usually the lady that catches it first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Us poor guys. <laughs> no, it's not always, but you know. <laughs> oh God. <clears throat> and then, oh come on, we got to work together, so we have to have unity. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm one thirty three one. How good it is for the brethren to dwell together in unity. We also heard that line here tonight. Amen. Yes, we did. And I, I, no, I noticed that we heard the title of my sermon and we heard that verse here tonight. And of course, nobody knew what I had written down in my notebook. Okay. But yeah, I did. <laughs> because God put it there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, we have to learn to work together. Yes. Amen. And I have seen examples in churches so many times where people didn't work together. Mm. And uh, I think I might have started telling a story the other day about the interior of Guyana where I had built a team of about 10 of us. And we had sent notice into this church. This pastor wanted, us, wanted to know when we were coming through. And we sent notice into this church by, by radio. There was no phones or anything back in there. And... Uh, we told them, okay, in six weeks, we, we need a week, and we're going to come in and do a revival there. And the pastor said, okay, great, bring it on. And we arrive in the village, and the pastor comes down there with a real long look on his face coming down to the dock where we're pulling in our canoe. And uh, he says, uh, I'd hate to say, I'm going to have to turn you guys around. We can't do a revival here. Our church is it's finished. Our, our leaders in the last month or so have all started fighting up and you know, the, church, the whole church is divided out and it's all gone. Wow. And I said, wait a minute. No, it's not. No. I had to move in authority over that thing. Mm -hmm. I thought, God, there's souls to be won in this village. Amen. There's healings to be done here. Mm -hmm. There's work to be done here. Amen. I can't let this church die. And so I told that pastor, I said, go get all the men and women that were on your leadership team and have a meet me meet, meet right here. You and all of them. Mm -hmm. I had to work with them all that week. We did go ahead and have services that week. We had six services. We had a children's meeting, like children's outreach. And we had a women's meeting. I had a couple of very anointed women with me. And I let them conduct a women's meeting. And uh, we actually got together and we saved a church. <laughs> Why? Because unity was ejected. I made them work together. I said, we're going to work together. We're going to have a revival here. And 52 souls later, we had a revival. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And so imagine if suddenly... 52 people got saved in this church and filled up all the rest of those chairs Amen. in between. This place would be full. Amen. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And that's just the way it happened back there. Mm -hmm. They had, of course, it was an old rough wooden building. You know, they, they don't have glass windows and things like that. They, they have these wooden shutter windows that they just open and all the mosquitoes and everything just come flying in. <laughs> you know, there's no fans or anything. There's no electric lights. You have camping lanterns that they hook along the walls. <laughs> And, and that, that's what you try to see with. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm standing up there with a small pen light trying to read my Bible <laughs> in my notes. <laughs> and uh, so they, uh, they started out with, there was maybe 20 in that building, maybe about this number in that building to start with. And as we progressed through the six or seven services, we got down to the end, there was over 100, 150 in that building. And uh, 52 of them were new soul, new Christians. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You sheep. Glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And in the in this point here now that I have 
there, there's one thing that a lot of people have a difficult time with is forgiveness. Yes. And when it, for me, it doesn't hurt to forgive. It feels good to forgive. Yes. Because what happens when you forgive, you're, you're releasing something bad off of you. Because you had unforgiveness in the beginning. And so if you can get rid of that, that, that nasty, crummy, cruddy yeah. feeling of wanting to tear somebody apart rather than just relinquish it, give it to God, and let God deal with it. Amen. Yes, right. <laughs> Praise God. So in Mark 11, 25 and 26, it says, When you pray, forgive. Yes. For if you, are, if you have ought against one another in your heart, your Father in heaven will forgive. So your Father in heaven will forgive your trans your trespasses. If you do not forgive, your Father in heaven will not forgive your trespasses. Well, I, I tell you what, I would like somebody to try to say that verse ten times fast. You're not going to get it out that quick. <laughs> Amen. So anyway, what God is saying there, if you don't forgive, how can He forgive you? That's right. That's right. Now, you think that doesn't sound right because God's always supposed to forgive? Well, I mean, that's what His Word says. It's right. Mm -hmm. okay. that's all right. Now, that's right. what we need to do is apply that. Mm -hmm. And so next time somebody holds off in their heart against somebody, the first thing that needs to happen is say, hey, you know, Let's let's discuss this in a in a proper manner until we can come to an amicable solution. Mm -hmm. you know? Praise God. Amen. That's right. I mean, God wants He wants His family to work together. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Um, a serious problem that I see in some communities is dysfunctional families. Yes. Um, these are families. Say there's two children and a pair of parents there. And the parents are going two different directions and the children are going two other different directions and there's never any unity in the house. There's never any forgiveness. They never give one another anything. They're always so selfish and scratching and biting over everything. Uh -huh. <coughs> Especially when somebody passes away and they're all fighting over the person's possessions. Uh -huh. That's just unbelievable. Somebody suing their blood, brother or sister, or suing their father or uncle, or that, that's messed up. Yes. <laughs> and it's definitely not the godly way. No. Now, you know, I, I, I honestly believe in lawyers if somebody has done something very unrighteous to you, you know, like on purpose, they, they tried to scandal you out of some money or something like that, uh, you know, I, I, I believe a lawyer should be consulted. But, you know, as far as like family disputes, no. <laughs> Those need to be given to God. Yes. Those need to be brought right here to this yes. altar yes. And, and, and relinquished. Yes. <laughs> need to be burned up by the Holy Spirit and, and let the Holy Spirit solve those kind of problems. Amen. Yes. Families need to learn to start working together and loving yes. one another. Yes. It's, Amen. It's just, That's right. Praise the Lord. You just got to do it. Yes, Lord. You just got to do it. Yes. I have counsel. I have actually found husbands and wives fist fighting. A woman and a man just slugging it out or throwing stuff across the room, yelling, screaming, bam, bam, cussing. Bam. And I'm, I'm standing there like this, <laughs> literally. Yeah, I mean, it was almost that bad. Um, I, I got this young couple, they were about 27, 28 years old, and they had a little baby and about a three or four year old. The little baby boy and about a three or four year old little girl, and they're just knocked down, drag out nearly. And so I took the guy. I said, I, "You come over here with me." And there was a, a a good pastor's wife in the village there. And I said, "I'm going to send you, girl. You're going to go over there to her house over there, and she's going to take care of you." I spent all day long with that man. And that lady spent all day long with that woman. And then we were able to reunite them back together and put that family back together. Amen. Amen. Now see, that's leadership working together. And it's, it's, it's bringing unity. Yes. 
Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. And cutting out division. You know, remember, Satan is division. God is unity. Amen. It's just two opposing forces. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I had another case where this couple come in into my sleep. Well, I say quarters. It was I was sleeping underneath the house. This is a mission field. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a hammock slung up underneath the house, and that's the only place they had to put me. So, <laughs> but that was good enough. Um, so here they come. I'm, I'm just waking up, just you know, getting my coffee or whatever. And here comes this couple with real long faces with three little children, about two and four and five or six. And the woman is just bawling and crying. And she says, My husband here, he's just, he can't get off the rug. And he comes home, and I mean, she's got a shiner on her face. You know, he's hit her. <laughs> and uh, the children are just, just you know, especially the, the the two little bit older ones that can kind of sense what's going on. Uh, you know, they're just frantic, and you know, this whole family is just about to be destroyed. And I had to work with them for oh two or three hours, counseling them and praying with them and all of that. And but then after that, after that, I think it was like three or four services I did in that village, and I left and went on. I didn't see him for nearly a year, and uh, then I got on a bus, and I heard some like people like laughing joyfully in the back of the bus, you know. And I turn around and look, and that family sitting back there laughing and jovial and joking around and, and everything, and she's holding a new little baby. You know, it had been a year since I'd seen them, so they, they got together, they got their lives straightened out, and they went ahead and had another child. And she's holding a brand new baby in a blanket, and, and there's those other three little more grown up, you know, and they were all just back there just just being happy and Do stuff. It. And I turned around and I looked, and I said, I know you guys. You're from that village back there, Great Falls. And they said, oh yeah. You're the pastor that came back there and, and you helped us. And, and I said, well, obviously God helped you because I can see you're happy and you're together. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> you see, there is solutions for this yes, kind of amen. stuff. <laughs> because if you belong to God's family and you keep His commandments and you walk with a humble spirit, you learn to love one another you learn to give of yourself, give generously. You learn to walk in unity, and you learn to have forgiveness. Amen. If you learn those basic facts, if you learn those basic things right there, that's it. If you walk in that stuff, remember what we're saying about the Word. You can study it, you can read it through and through, you can memorize the whole thing from cover to cover, but if you don't use it, you might as well forget it. Yes, amen. I mean, you can have, you can be a mechanic and have all the great, all the electronic tools and the big computers to hook up to the car to tell what's wrong with it and, yeah. and all that stuff. Millions of dollars worth of equipment. But if you don't use it, you can't fix a car. Amen. The same thing with God. I mean, you can't fix your problems. You can't come to solutions. If you don't use the Word of God, Amen. Amen. not right. only read it, not only study it, but apply it. Amen. That's Amen. right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I just, you know, I, I've been in in so many different situations because I was working in the bush, where there is no convenience items, there's no transportation. There was places where there was no cars. You had to walk or paddle a canoe to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. And, you know, <laughs> everything was hard. Everything was difficult. If you wanted vegetables, you had to plant them and raise them. Isn't that right? Yep. Amen. I know you got a farm out there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> but, I mean, it takes a lot of work. I actually helped slash and burn some farm. And, I mean, that's not fun. <laughs> have to get out there and start swinging a cutlass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough work. Yep. In fact, I still have a tiny little scar across my finger here where I, I went like this with a cutlass and it caught a vine that was cutting across up above my head that I didn't realize was that low. 
and it misdirected the cutlass and it came down and hit my finger. You know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I remember, you know, cutting sections of cassava plant and shoving them back in the ground and making them grow again. And, you know, which is, I guess that's being green. You know, you're reusing what normally would be just thrown away because it's not part of the, the root that you eat, but you're reusing it to make another right. plant again. Amen. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I used to help them, you know, weed and, and help them build their houses and everything. And I mean, you know, we're talking hand saws, chisels, you know, having to take that little, th there's a little old-fashioned kind of drill that goes, it works like a little, yeah, little right. you know, that kind. You know, because there's no electricity. Everything's done by hand. You, know? you want to notch in a piece of wood, you got to chop it out of there with a chisel. I mean, you know, there's no router or anything to route it out with it. <laughs> and, and so we were working in some very difficult conditions and it took a lot of patience you know it, it didn't take you know 10 seconds to go across a sheet of or a piece of board with a saw it took three minutes to get through it or 10 minutes to get through it you know we're talking like green heart purple heart hard hard lumber hardwood <laughs> and working through it with, hard, with tools and uh when, when a tool got dull, uh, you had to get out a file and you had to know how to sharpen it. Yeah. it well, there wasn't no taking it down to the saw man and getting him to sharpen it. There wasn't no such thing. You had to do it yourself. <laughs> oh, Lord. And, uh, you know, you didn't go down to the lumber yard and buy wood. You didn't go buy lumber or boards. The Indians had to go in the bush with a chainsaw cut the tree down and cut those they'd stand up on top of the log and like this like saw it out of there like a loaf of bread and the board would fall down and then they'd walk back up to the front of the log again and saw it <laughs> it'd take forever to get a board <laughs> and then the stuff's green it's got to stand on its end against a, a, a fence or a wall or something for a few weeks to dry you know and sometimes it would split and you'd have to try to put it back together and all, you know. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that sometimes things take patience. Yes. It takes perseverance yes. to get through and get a get yes. something done. Amen, that's right. And a lot of people don't have that. Amen. Uh, that's something, I mean, I'm not blowing my horn or anything, but that's something I have a lot of perseverance and patience if I'm having a difficult time doing something. And Sister Gibson over there can attest to that because we we've, we've had some serious repercussions. I mean, you know, putting this little trip together. Yeah, that it started out with about seven of us, and five fell off. You know, one at a time. They all had their difficulties and problems, and 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 so five fell off, and only two of us made it. And trial after trial after trial after trial. You know, and we're making it through. Amen. That's why Pastor had to recommend doing that song again. We got to make it. You got know? to make it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 You hear that one twice yeah. because God is conveying a message. Yes, yes. that's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Got to make it. Holy oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. I just believe that, you know, some of you here tonight have, have got some really odd situations going on. And, you know, there is hope. There is hope. I, I've, seen, I've seen all of it. I've seen a mess of, you know, people that just was having a lot of difficult problems. And uh, so I just, I, I want to know, you know, God wants to see you delivered. He wants to see you change. Yes. And... Just if you're having, you know, family issues, you know, we, we believe that we can come together in prayer and agree, yes. and that the Spirit of God is going to absolutely change that. Yes, yes. He's going to change it because we do belong to God's family. We do walk by His commandments. Yes. We do keep yes. ourselves humble. Yes. We learn to love one another, give generously, live in unity, yes. and walk in forgiveness. Yes. If you can learn to do those things and walk in those things as they're mandated by the Word of God, you will get through. Amen. You will make it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.
Father God, we just put this body before you, Lord. If there be any division, if there be any hatred, if there be any misunderstanding, Father, we break those things. We break those curses. We break that stuff. And Father, we replace it. Yes, Lord. We we replace unforgiveness yes. with forgiveness. Yes, yes, we replace division with unity. Yes. We replace greed with giving generous. Yes, we replace hatred with love. Yes. We replace haughtiness with humbleness. Yes. We replace un being out of order by following God's commandments. Yes. Amen. Yes. And we replace being lost by belonging to God's family. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you tonight. Hallelujah. Have your way in the city. Hallelujah. If you feel like you need to come down for prayer tonight, you just please do so. We want to see some deliverance. Deliver them, Lord. Deliver them, Lord.
family. Yeah, I mean, I just love it. Thank you. It's good. Hallelujah. It's good. 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 It's good.
stand now as we sing our closing hymn number eight, Power in the Blood. Yes. Would you be free from your burden of sin? Yes, power. It's power in the blood. Yes. Power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? It's wonderful power in the blood. We've won a victory tonight. Hallelujah. Victory in the name of Jesus. Yeah.